Folks, Bang Average Fishing, how are we? And you will have guessed it, I'm here on this stunning, stunning stretch of canal. And today, I'm gonna show you how to catch big perch on spinners. I have to admit, I'm having a hell of a lot of success with the perch recently, all on the spinners. And there's really one simple reason for that, and it's the method I'm fishing. So today, I'm gonna run through that with you, go through what I'm doing, what type of spinners I'm using, which is helping me catch these really decent fish. We're on the canal today, it's in the evening, so we're hoping that the perch are on the bite just before it goes dark. It's always the time, it's the best time to go perch fishing. So important you bear that in mind, guys, when you're uh, following these tips. Time is so important, you can be doing the right thing, but in the wrong place and at the wrong time, you'll catch nothing. I hope you enjoyed this little how-to vid. If you do, hit that subscribe button, it really helps the channel. Just before we crack on with the fishing, I wanted to show you a little something. I went out early this morning with the dog and we had an absolutely smashing pike again on the spinner. It's not just perch it works for, it's the pike as well. Oh, we're in and it's a pike. It's not bad, Jack. Good job I've got that leader on. That's not a bad jack either. I'm on a single hook, so there's a good chance he might come out. But it's a nice fish. Don't want him to fight too hard. He's in the net. What a beautiful fish. <laughs> nice. Nice, nice, nice. Not massive, but decent. Gonna get this guy back fairly quickly. Nice fish. Unhooked him. Right, let's get him back. Let me get you out, sir. A very nice fish that I was well happy with it, to be fair. Very much a quick little trip down, just to take the dog, but nice to get a fish anyway. Right, let's get back to the perch and let's get back onto this evening. Rodwise, we're using the Fish Rig Max from Rigged and Ready, partnered with the RR3000 from Rigged and Ready. Safe to say this one's had some better days, but he's seen some things, I have to admit, and it's a lovely little combination, this. A nice light rod, but strong enough to cope with a decent fish. We're starting off with a size 2 spinner today in gold from Vibrex Blue Fox 1. Love the logo, by the way, of the fox and the little fish in it. It's class. But the most important thing is that single hook that we're using today. And we're also using a fluoro leader just in case we hit any pike. That is so, so important if you're perch fishing. Today, this is a really, really strong fluoro leader from Fox Rage, but make sure you use a wire trace or something similar. You've got to be using minimum 90 pounds realistically fluoro if you are. I bought these from Fox Rage. I wouldn't personally make my own. I would rather get one from a very reputable tackle company and sleep easy at night. Just seen a rise down here. Might take a while to find them today. On a new stretch of canal, I like to keep varying, I'll be honest. There's no point just fishing the same place every time. It's boring. <laughs> so we are on a different stretch, a little bit just further along. Same vicinity, but not the exact spot. That. I bet this is insane if you could get down to it properly. It's quite hard to, unfortunately. It's very rare that on a canal you have actually a cliff <laughs> and it's been worked around it. Very unusual. But I can get down here. So it's worth having a couple of casts, I think. So what you're going to be doing with your spinner is you're going to just be keeping it. You're going to let it sink and you're going to do a very slow retrieve now. Single hooks, you lose a lot more fish, but it is better for the fish, and actually, it allows you to fish spinners very slow and close to the bottom, because you don't get snagged. And I'm a firm believer that spinner baits are the most effective bait, especially in the summer and autumn months when the water's at its warmest. Winter, I appreciate, they've probably not got their place as much, but they're still effective for sure. Keep it nice and slow. Yes, fish on. 
fish on, fish on. Oh, it's a nice perch. It's a really nice perch. A really, really nice perch. It looked fishy, didn't it? It looked fishy. Oh, that is, that's, that's a big perch. That is a really big perch. perch. Oh, look at them head shakes. I think that's my PB out of here. It's gotta be, it's gotta be. That's a huge perch. Can we get him in? He is in, he is in. It's a huge fish. That's a big perch. Just letting him recover there before I get him up to the camera. Look at the back on him. That's a big old perch, that. I've not been here long either. What a fish. And look at him. What a beautiful, beautiful perch that is. There's got to be a few more for sure. Look at him. Beautiful fish. Right, let's get him back as always. Oh, look, look at the belly. Such a fat fish. <laughs> right, time to go back, sir. There he goes into the depths. It's a bit naughty, isn't it? First fish. Oh, just got out of the car. <laughs> well, safe to say, I thought we were gonna be in for a right session today. We had that first fish and it's been pretty quiet. We're gonna just keep plugging away though, keep seeing if we can catch one. I'm gonna go up to my favorite little spot. Fingers crossed it produces for us. What a beautiful sky, guys. Like, I can't complain. What a flipping smashing evenings fishing. <laughs> beautiful. Well, folks, as you can see, the evening is really drawing in. I'm gonna keep fishing and hopefully we might catch one. I'll show you if we do, but the qu camera quality is gonna drop massively. So I'm gonna turn the camera off, probably just keep it running potentially if we do catch something and I will show you. But anyway, on that note, I hope you've enjoyed this video. I hope it's been a little bit informative and, and showed you a little bit of a different way to catching perch other than the classic creature baits, etc., cetera, et cetera. And how, you know, old fashioned methods still catch decent fish, don't they, in the end of the day? They worked in 1960, they'll work in 2022 as well. So anyway, folks, tight lines, keep fishing. <laughs>